What's going on guys, it's Savage, back to some Star Wars Battlefront, I guess in a way, but this is actually going to be a tutorial, as you can probably tell by, you know, just looking at the title and the thumbnail, but, <laughs> today we're going to be showing you guys how to install Starfire Side Mod for the original Battlefront 1. Now, I've actually made a video on this before, just a long time ago, and it was on my older channel that I don't use anymore but yeah it's still the same steps from that is this is just updated you know an updated tutorial uh, but I haven't made a tutorial video in literally forever and I got an idea from a subscriber from a comment I'll just put it up on the screen by now as of me talking about this but um yeah let's show you how to install Starfire side mod now there is a lot of requirements for this like you need to have a lot of um, you need to have like a lot of uh, maps installed because there are add-on maps to this but it doesn't come with the mod installed but I'll leave links to those in the description but um, yeah I'll also leave a link to the uh, actual Starfire side mod in the actual description but um, yeah let's start here this is this is where I usually would download it I'll leave a link to everything in the description you also need 7-zip just in case because like um, the way the, like the um, the file works you need to you basically need one you need this to install it basically basically and these are just add-on maps for the other uh, you know from the other tabs but um yeah now let's get started now I'm, just, I'm actually gonna open up Battlefront the original Battlefront 1 through my files and you probably can't see it because it's on my other monitor so let me uh go through here but where you would go is the C drive of course uh, program 86 you know scroll down to where you see LucasArts uh, Battlefront 1 game data and boom alright once you're here just wait there and once you'll go back into their Starfire side mod now if you want to install everything correctly you would do this you would actually go through every single one of these now for here these will go all the way over to right these will go actually in individual ones like how this is yav one this will go down here basically if you want to install it that way so what you would do is you could probably just back this up or take it out you know just put it on the desktop for now and you would put this in here that's where that would go and boom yep all right so you'll basically do that for each of these however like this says tattoo so it's going to go in like tat basically and so that's everything in the uh in this uh vm maps yeah that's everything that i don't know how to pronounce that all the way but that's everything in there so yeah you would take these out the ones that's corresponding because there's sometimes sometimes would be three of them so yeah you'll take these out you know, you can always press the control, just put them on the desktop or wherever you want, it doesn't really matter. And just replace these. I'm not gonna replace them because like I'm not just gonna like replace them because like I don't want I don't want to keep it in there, but you know, I I'll do it for the video, you know, for the tutorial. And um yeah, that's pretty much it for this part. You just do that for it, however, for all of them basically. So um yeah, next step. The next step would be all right so the next step is here now these are all the sides all right so these are all the sides so what you'll go is do the sides part and you'll basically copy all of these and paste them in here basically i will do that for you guys all right i'm gonna take all of these out put them on my other monitor you probably can't see or you can put or it'll be right here you know it doesn't matter and put these all in here now it's gonna take a little while just for you guys probably probably but um yeah there's actually a lot of maps this mod actually goes to this goes to Jabba's Palace and um, it goes to Mustafar, Makito, Utapal all of those episode 3 maps also to the base game so it feels like a full full-on mod which is really cool which is really cool by the way but um yeah all right this is done all right there we go so yep all right guys so I went back on my desktop 
and I actually made a folder and just put everything that was right here onto the side. I put everything, I put everything in this one folder basically, it's just to like make space, make it look neat a little bit. So if you want to do that yourself, you, you could, but um, that was the wrong button. <laughs> all right, so next step would be to, all right, go on here. All right, so we already did these two basically. We already covered these two. So now we'll go over here to the arms and the uh, cabs. <laughs> This is basically gonna go here in your uh, your FPM folder. All right, so see all of these. You can take all of these out and put it like somewhere safe where you can remember, or you want to back it up. That's also cool. I'm just gonna put those in there for right now. But then I'm gonna replace it with all of these that's in this folder right here. Oh crap! I messed that up. There we go. Boom. And you just wait for that. It's all loaded up. And boom. It's all right. So that's installed. Okay, cool. All right, on to the next. I don't know why this keeps happening. All right, the add-on stuff. Now, the add-on stuff for this, you would ha actually have to go download those maps that I was talking about. I'll leave links to all the maps, but you actually go here. Uh, I don't, you know, this wouldn't be here, but for those of you who already have um, Java's Palace installed, then I can just go ahead and do this for you guys. But under add-on stuff, see, th that's a list of all the maps that this would actually support but this says Jabba's Palace this is the Jabba's Palace mod but um, everything else like Massa that's Polis Massa, Dantooine, Mustafar Megiddo Streets that's Coruscant Streets by the way Utapau and uh, Wookieeland that's Kashyyyk's uh, that's Kashyyyk map I'll leave a link to all these maps if you don't have these but let's go ahead and do Jabba's Palace because it's the only one here alright so you open this up and then you open this up go to your data inside the Jabba's Palace you go here now you will replace these with just these two basically so I'm just gonna keep these on the desktop and then as, as those are on the desktop put these all right do that inside the Java's palace folder and that's pretty much it for um, for this not for the whole thing but just for this part all right so you'll go out of that It'll go out of here, but you would do this for all the other maps, but I'll leave link to, links to those again. So yeah, that's pretty much it for that part. Now you got your readme and your mod information. There's actually one last thing to do, and the mod will be completely installed for you guys. And um, that's these down here, the mission and the core. Now, you'll go in your uh, data, this, and then boom, down here, you'll see the regular core and mission. Uh, you can take these out, put them somewhere safe because this belongs to the actual base game. So I'm going to put it up here where I put all my other stuff. Now, the reason why I'm not putting this on the desktop is because, you know, these two are already there. So it's going to be, it's going to ask me to replace these. I don't want to replace those. So yeah, that's why I did that. All right. So I go back here into the Starfire side mod and then I would take these two and I'm going to drag them into this folder. And once I drag them into this folder, that should be it. So we should boot up the game and Star Fireside mod should be installed. Alrighty guys, I'm going to be testing this out on Jabba's Palace because that was the that was the add-on map that we were talking about earlier. So all right, so I'm going to be playing this on the Clone Wars and the Clone Wars of Jabba's Palace is the 501st Legion. So I'm going to launch this up and hopefully this will work. Boom. The mod is installed. We are the 501st Legion, and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much how you install Starfire Side Mod. Hope you guys enjoyed this little video of me showing you guys how to install Starfire Side Mod for the original Star Wars Battlefront 1. Yep, and it works pretty smoothly because, well, I'm playing as a uh, Phase 2 Jet Trooper, and usually on regular Battlefront 1, it wouldn't be Phase 2 anything. So, yeah. This is one of the add-on maps that it uh, that it would normally uh, play on. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not I'm not gonna play this whole match, by the way. I'm, I'm just not. Kind of don't feel like it, but it's whatever. But um, yeah, this is how you install Starfire Side Mod. Link to everything will be in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel for you, or uh, comment, subscribe for more tutorials. Hopefully, I can make like better tutorials in the future of me. Uh, doing videos for this channel of course but yep yeah, this is it i'll see you guys in the next one peace i have you now.